Who are the Oromo people? The Oromo people are the indigenous inhabitants of Eastern Africa. The Oromo constitute the single largest ethnic group, not only in the Horn of Africa, but in Ethiopia, and predominantly reside in present day Ethiopia and Northern Kenya. The Oromo homeland is called Oromia. The capital city of Oromia is Fimfinne, which is also known as Addis Ababa. The Oromo people have been subjugated to oppression and colonization throughout various successive Ethiopian regimes. Oromia contributes to two thirds of Ethiopia's famous coffee export and over half of the agricultural products come from this region. What is the master plan? You may have recently heard about the Oromo protests against the master plan. The Ethiopian government has begun the initial stages of the Addis Ababa master plan, which is in the name of the expansion of the capital city. Why is the master plan opposed by Oromos? The master plan is a systematic plan executed by the Ethiopian government to uproot indigenous Oromo farmers and locals from surrounding areas of the capital city. The master plan endangers the Oromo livelihood and will displace over 2 million Oromo farmers and abolish the historical and sacred Oromo history from this area. In 2014, Oromo University students across Oromia had staged multiple peaceful protests denouncing the infamous master plan. The Ethiopian government responded by opening fire on unarmed students. 78 students were killed, many wounded, along with tens of thousands who were imprisoned. Also in 2014, Amnesty International published a report entitled Because I am Oromo, sweeping repression in the Oromia region of Ethiopia. This report examines various peaceful protests across Oromia, including the 2014 master plan protests. This report discusses in detail the severity and aftermath of the Oromo being targeted by the Ethiopian government. Similarly, in 2015, as we speak, Oromo students ranging from elementary, high school and university, alongside Oromo locals, have staged multiple peaceful protests across Oromia since November 12. The brutality of the Ethiopian government can be seen by the murdering of seven Oromos and unfortunately the toll will only continue to increase. The Ethiopian government continues the gassing, beating and injuring of multiple peaceful Oromo participants. Peaceful Oromo protesters is emphasised as the Ethiopian government attempts to create an illusion that they are the most democratic and fair African government. They manipulate the international community into this framework. This incident is one too many examples of the fake democracy the Ethiopian government portrays to the world. The so-called democratic Ethiopian government has consistently displayed its brutality and terroristic traits on multiple occasions. So why does the international community choose to turn a blind eye? Where are the international media outlets? Where are the international human rights organisations? Where is the international community as a whole? We urge the international community to condemn the evil acts perpetrated by the Ethiopian government and advocate for the Oromo people who face too many injustices at the hands of state-sanctioned terrorism. Join the global rally in solidarity of Oromo protests on December 10th, 2015 and join in the social media awareness campaign, hashtag Oromo protest.